Good evening folks, so today we've got another box, let's see what we got. <gasps> it's a boot! So, we've got the next attempt of uh, Crow Boots, uh, or oh, sorry, Crow Props Boots, so we get this nice little plaque. And at least the foam, we have just one boot! No, oh, because I'm wearing the other one. Let's get a shot of that. So, this is Geo's new attempt at the boot. Uh, as some of you guys might know, uh, a couple of weeks ago I received a boot and it wasn't quite right. Turns out it was not for me, it was actually for Dawn, that's off with Dawn now. But there was also some other issues generally with the design uh, that I addressed with Geo. Geo did ask me if I could remove that video so we could have time to make the corrections um, and also have time to, uh, to, to fix what he needed to. So technically this is a version... I guess 6.5 for him now, um, because he's he's had several versions before. I know people are calling this the version, his version one, episode eight, but it's it's the same boot. It's just a newer version. So, what's new on this versus the the other types of boots? Well, first and foremost, uh, these designs have all got the all got the zip on the back. So that is particularly fantastic. That's the bit that everybody's everybody's going for now there are three boot makers in the mix at the moment all going for for zip back boots we've got Giovanni here there's Imperial boots and also Jados who's new on the scene um, but is well known in the uh, 501st world for making fantastic quality boots so what parts do I like about this boot well first I, I love this improvement of uh, of design here the shaping is much better um, not sure this is in entirely super accurate I'll, I'll have to check the refs but i i think it's a more gentle curve but i'm still i'm much happier with this than what he sent in the previous version the uh the the talons on the heel are really nicely rounded i'm really happy with that uh both sides of the boots are pretty good and this new leather upper material he's got it is definitely leather and it's a much better quality than what he used on the previous pair that I had and it's it's just got a bit more rigidity to it so I think he's backed it with something and it's just a bit nicer uh, the straps same again really nice quality leather he's uh, edged them really nicely so they're, they're black on the edges and they don't show up white like the like black cut leather does look sometimes so yep I'm really happy with that um, the the, the centre strips are much better this time the previous scent set he uh, had a try with were not not totally straight so this is a much better attempt the edging on the top is also really really nice um, and also the lining is is really nice this doesn't matter greatly in terms of uh, uh, in terms of visuals but in terms of comfort aesthetic and just general craftsmanship it's a much better finish on the inside of the boot um, I would also like to say that uh, I would like to say nobody should buy these boots because he's clearly a rebel sympathizer putting Ray all over the back of the boots. So yeah, that's it. Don't buy Geo's boots. No, I'm joking. The, this is a much better attempt. The criticisms wise, um, there's still a slight mismatch in the, the leather upper and the in the straps. That's a very minor criticism, but I'm I'm generally quite happy. I'd still, I'd still like to see these in a thinner plate metal, uh, like some of the references we've seen, but also still very happy. The sole is really nice, really like it. It is a foam, I would much prefer to see a rubber, because over time these do just crush. Even a hard foam like this uh, will eventually uh, quarter, if not, well, at least half in size. I've got some Imperial boots and some other ones that are in hard foam and they all suffer the same fate eventually um, so they will not last forever especially if you walk hard on your heels like I do and especially with lifts so uh, these were taken with a lot of sizes uh, a lot of sizings from myself so I had to do the upper length the the ankle width the heel heel to front top of foot toe length size absolutely everything and it seems like they're a really good fit actually I'm, I'm gonna flip over to the next one once I've, I've done this so these straps all come off uh, if I'm not just doing it with one hand <laughs> anyway the the one criticism I have in terms of this that I've felt so far is uh, this zip track seems to finish around about there and it's finished with a stitch now that is pretty much a choke point so when you're trying to put your foot into it it's actually really tight to get it into that hole um, I am concerned that over time that that zip track might uh, might shear so 
I'm, I'm, I will, once I've sent this video out, I'll, I'll let them know because I think that maybe could just do with being an inch lower, um, just to give you a better chance of, of not wearing the boot out. So let's go on to how the fit is because generally I'm, I'm really happy with this boot now. That's, that's a good, it's a good boot. So, so this is it on my leg. As you can see, it is a much, much better fit than uh, we've ever seen from Geo's boots before. Um, you know, I'm. I'm all for a fair review, and so as much as I'm happy to support all the makers, uh, some of Geo's work in the past hasn't been the best, but this is a, this is a great improvement. Um, there is some slack in the ankle still from my measurement, but that is fine for me personally because I actually use lift, so actually my heel sits when I actually pull it up to where my heel is actually going to be, which leaves a gap of about an inch and a half, two inch. I get a really perfect fit. Um, which is what I intended for this. So that was spot on the money in terms of measurement. Good job, Geo. Um, yeah, generally I'm happy with this. I wore them for a couple of hours. Uh, they're really comfortable. The leather feels nice. It doesn't feel like they're going to roll down my ankles like the previous ones were. Um, I'm going to have to trim some of these down, but I think that's a, that's a personal preference thing about how much ex extra you want on them. And they do fit really nicely. Um, generally quite happy. The ridges on the front are really nice uh, and the leather is a really good quality as well so I think if I'm gonna give these a rating I think I'm overall gonna certainly give these a solid seven and a half or an eight these this is such a such a better um, a better version than the previous versions um, so I, I, I you know I'm more than happy to advise these for any nights to purchase I'm still gonna review the other makers um, and I still think these are a good boot can they be better yes are they really good? Yes. So, yep, that's all for me. Thanks, guys.